Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Nice to see you again. How are you guys? Can you hear me? Good Hi, teacher. Hello. How's it going? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, guys? Good evening. Good Very good. Thank right. you. Nice. Thank you for asking. For asking. What about the rest? How are you guys? Are you okay? Uh, are you teacher. Yes, good teacher. Nice, nice. Okay, we're going to start with the session. Thanks for joining for joining the, the meeting. I'm going to start with the first thing and I'm going I'm going to pass the tennis before you know to start with the session. Please remember as we do it, I'm going to say your names. And once you listen to your name, they press play. Let's begin. Let's go with the first pen. Alberto Espinosa. Oh, I saw, yeah, I saw that Alberto Espinosa type in the chat. I think he was having some issues. He's going to join us as soon as possible. I was the one that Alberto Espinosa was having some issues. Daniel? Daniel? Ana Francisca? Present teacher. Ana Vicky Garcia? Present teacher. Thanks. Astrid Diaz? Present. Right. Astrid Muñoz? Present. Good. Pesci Flores? Pesci Flores? So here. Okay. Pesci. Pesci Avalos? Sorry. Present. Thank you. Esther Martinez? Present. Esther Arriola? Aquí. Claudia Ramos? Claudia Ramos? Aquí. Dalida Galicia? Present, teacher. Aquí. Delmi Peña? Present. Aquí. Ignacio Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Stephanie Sea. Present. Yeah. Nelson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Yeah. Elina. Present teacher. Yeah. Iliana, la verdad. Present teacher. Nice. Iván Patriz. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Yeah. Joana Navarro. Present teacher. Yeah. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Marientos. Present teacher. Thanks. Esther Rodriguez. Present teacher. Yeah. Say Portillo. Present teacher. Yeah. Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Yeah. Karen Mejiva. Karen Mejiva. And here. Okay, let's continue. Let's go with Karen Renata Flores. Yes, my teacher. Thank you. Carla Granados. Carla Granados. Present teacher. Awesome, thank you. Carla Rivera. And Carla Rosa. Present teacher. Very nice. Thank you for joining. We're going to begin. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take the screenshot, please. I'm going to tell you on the camera three. Please, everybody, a smile. And the dress, for favor. Oh, those dress. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, before to, to start with everything, you know, I, I want to ask you, you know, about the meter, about the platform in general. So, todo bien, con respecto a Vito, con respecto a la plataforma, 
respecto al meter, cómo nos fue, todo bien. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Está todo bien? ¿Plataforma? Ya, yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Todo bien. Okay. It's okay. Bueno, ahora vamos a. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es escupir el, el meter, en caso alguien haya tenido algún inconveniente, alguna duda, etc. Que, que nos, nos pide que lo hagamos en grupos, en los módulos, que lo vamos a, a discutir rapidito antes de iniciar con el, con el contenido. Y bueno, lo otro que quería compartir es con respecto a la consulta que me hacía, me hacía hace las clases, con respecto a el formato que se les pide para, para que ustedes puedan inscribirse en el siguiente módulo. Y en efecto, se les envía a, a finalizar la segunda semana, como me, me, me decían ustedes. En efecto, se les envía a finalizar la segunda semana. Así es que me, lo único que me dijeron fue eso y de que tuvieran un poquito de paciencia. Es que se les va a enviar lo, lo antes posible. Estamos pendientes porque probablemente en esos días les envíe. Que no se preocupe. Lo siguiente, uh, temprano me, me hacía uno, bueno, alguien, compañero me hacía una consulta y era con respecto a los certificados. Creo que no, en este caso no, todavía no hemos recibido el, el certificado el primer módulo y el segundo módulo y pues déjenme comentarles de que con respecto a los certificados todavía se está trabajando bien que me dijeron de que para que nos esperáramos un tiempo bueno está trabajando bien está terminando y eh, lo antes posible como les dije con el formato se les va a contactar y se les va a decir para que ustedes lo vayan a recoger como físico ¿Bien? Yo tengo una duda con respecto a eso. Eh, y vaya, por ejemplo, nos van a dar, digamos, un certificado que ya terminamos, digamos, principiante, y solo un certificado, o nos van a dar uno por eh, principiante módulo 1, principiante módulo 2. Es uno por, por, por módulo. Uno por ah, módulo. ok. Es que ah, van, van, a mal, entonces. van a recibir, que no, bueno, en esos días tal vez, me dijeron que están en eso, terminando, así es que probablemente en esos días, lo, lo antes posible, se les, se les contacte y se les, se les haga el conocimiento de que deben de es llegar a, me imagino que las instalaciones, para que ustedes puedan, a caso, recoger su certificado. Es el módulo 1 y módulo 4. No se han familiarizado con eso, así que por eso lo, lo pregunté, cuando me hizo alguien la consulta. Uh, sí, en el, en el grupo que estuve anterior, era un programa distinto. Los participantes podían obtener su certificado de forma digital. Así es que pensaba en eso, pero, pero no. En sus casos, para el programa es diferente. Entonces, deben de recogerlo de forma física. Estamos pendientes igual con los con el programa. Yo lo voy a recibir lo antes posible en esos días. Eso es que les... Hago saber de eso porque me, me preguntaba, así es que ya lo, lo consulté. Ahora bien, no sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda con respecto a esa información. ¿Preguntas? ¿Duda? Yo, yo tengo una duda, pero es más de vocabulario. Dígame. Um, hay una sección que se llama Improve Your Health. En la sección esa fueron como cuatro cosas o cinco que me llamaron la atención. Mm, la primera, la sección tres. Ok. Había una de... Bueno, de, no sé si cuál del número será, pero hablaba sobre la salud. Cómo mm. mejorar la salud. A esa es la, la, tal vez la última o la penúltima. Creo que es la última. Ajá. El último video. No, no, es la penúltima, tal vez entonces sí. Anterior, quiero ver esa. A ver. 
No, 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 entonces la anterior. Sí, creo que está en la otra, en los exámenes, en los otros exámenes, creo que están esas. Mm. Que son de medicinas caseras. Ah, medicinas caseras, exacto, gracias. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. Es eso. El último examen es. Ah, ok. ¿De eso? Ah, ese. No, no, eh, eh, ese no. que digo yo se llamaba Mejorando la Salud. Y hablaba de, de que había que tomar calcio, que había que caminar, que había que visitar al doctor. Más que todo mm. eso. Bueno, pero en el caso es que ahí menciona, por ejemplo, dicen, dicen water cups, como que fueran tazas de agua. Pero oh, yeah. Vasos de agua. Entonces, el tercero, entonces, a decir, es que me acuerdo haberlo visto en el tercer uh, examen. No, no es el examen, es, es un ejercicio de la, de la sección 3. Hey, Alberto. Hey, let me see. Sección 3, específicamente, ¿se recuerda? Mm, no, 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 no. Pero es un video. Es un, uno de los videos, creo. Mm. Es, mm, antes de ese estaba, fíjese, antes de los... De los Sustantivos compuestos estaba. Qué raro. ¿Es bueno, no? No. <risa> ok, si gusta, no se preocupe, si gusta puede revisar. Yo lo busco ¿Puedo? y le digo cuál es. Sí, perfecto. Ok, okay vámonos al, al meter. Vamos a revisar. Recuerden que ayer lo, lo teníamos que desarrollar. Y pues estaba dividido en cinco partes. Bueno, en la primera sección debíamos de escuchar el audio. Algunas personas y una respuesta para Recuerden que, bueno, con base en el audio teníamos que contestar las preguntas. Pues escuchamos el audio. Y bueno, estuve revisando y está muy bien. Pues hemos salido muy bien, así es que los felicito. Les voy a mostrar las, las respuestas para que las revisemos. Uh, first one. Yeah. Per perdón, teacher, perdón. Creo yeah. que es en la sección 2, el último ejercicio de la sección 2 es el 2.12. Si no oh, okay. estoy mal, creo que ese es. ¿Eso? Ex sí. Hmm. Okay, um, you told me about uh, a specific word, right? Or some words. Uh, some words. For example, tell me. For example, a ver. En el nueve creo que dice, no, no es el nueve. I think because you were you were telling me about water cups, it's number four probably. Ah, it's the number four, see. Drink eight cups for water of water. Entonces yo entendía que vasos son vasos, pero tazas igual se toma. Oh, ah, uh, well, it's because it's because, for example, when you go to the doctor, some some people or some doctors say in that way, right? I don't know if you, I think most of us, we have listened to that expression, like, um, yeah, we, we tend to listen to pasos de agua, de agua. Uh, algunas personas dicen pasos de agua, pasos de agua. Entonces, pero es según medidas, medidas. En ese caso, yes, yeah. Yes, but they, they are different capacities. Exactly, exactly, well, that's right. Uh, well, listen, in English, in English, we, we tend to use cup, cups of water, or water cups, okay? However, you can use glass of water. You can. You can. So it depends, in this case, uh, the context. context. If you want to use water cups or cups of water, it's okay. You can. You can. And you're referring to some specific measurements. En ese caso, pues, nos referimos a, dependiendo de las medidas. 
But you can you, you can say both. You can say both. Vamos a decir ambos. And in this sentence, mention this and tells right. This a this a get enough. No sería take bueno take enough. No get enough. Mm. Get enough. What is it? I said a nueve night. Get enough calcium. Oh, yeah. It's because you know get 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 has different uh, meanings. Este verbo es 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 de los que tienen más significado dependiendo de cómo lo lo utilizamos. Yeah, when you say get some calcium, it's like you say take. Take some calcium. So you can use get, okay? Because you get some calcium, okay? Or you can say take some calcium. Okay, you can say get or take. Se puede utilizar. El get, que tiene, lo, lo, se tiende a utilizar de esa forma, como, como tomar o, o tener. Teacher, ¿y usted qué consejo nos da cuando hay palabras que tienen tantos significados? ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de, de aprender? Yo lo que hago es que digo, voy a agarrar el más significativo y, y más que el significado, hacerse una imagen del, del, de la palabra. Pues, es que el problema es como son sustantivos, adjectives, adverbios, son a veces en diferentes campos. Yeah. Yeah, well, un consejo quizás sería uh, de que nos acostumbremos o veamos bastante, veamos, por ejemplo, lecturas así, pequeñas, leamos e identifiquemos los, en este caso son verbos, imperativos, son imperativos, verbo y lo que le acompaña. Por lo general, um, los verbos van acompañados de palabras específicas, sean nouns, Adjectives, adverbs, etc. O sea que tenemos que ir armando la estructura, la estructura de, de, la, de cada frase. Yeah, yeah. And, for example, you have to know some, like, collocations. Collocations. For example, you can say, go home. Go home. And you can say, get home. Get home. Get home. So, this is something that we use we always use go home get home okay or in other possible in other ways are very home very home okay uh and another another possibility for example it could be like when you say let's talk about get you can say get um um medicine for example we can say take some medicine. Okay. In this case, lo que debemos de, de hacer is siempre tener en cuenta lo que acompaña cada cada palabra. Que es sustantivo, un verbo, un adjetivo, un adverbio, una preposición. Okay. We tend to say something that is called collocations. Okay, collocations. Collocations mean that some words are together. So they are married. They are married. Aunque suene gracioso, pero cuando nos referimos a collocations, nos estamos refiriendo a palabras que están unidas. Que están compound, un... compound nouns. Or it could be compound nouns. But compound nouns is different. Antiguos compuestos son diferentes. En ese caso, collocations, mm, se ha olvidado el término en español, ¿cómo se le llama? Pero son palabras, o son, pues, podría decirte frases que son, siempre están juntas. Como decimos, eh, eh, han, eh, en este caso, se han, digámoslo así, en el diseño gracioso, uh, podría ser la relación de mamá e hijo, podría ser esposo e esposa, están siempre unidos. Entonces, no, no se pueden separar. Por ejemplo, if you say, um, let me see, let me give you a, a common example. When you say, I am 
So here, at, let's say, software. Okay. So here we have specific collocation. Good, good at. Es siempre va junto. Good at. O lo, lo opuesto, bad. Bad at. Pero tenemos que tenemos que tener en cuenta eso que el, el, el bueno cualquier idioma es así reglas entonces siempre van juntas no se puede separar good at. entonces en el caso de get por ejemplo si, siguiendo con el verbo ese verbo es bien tiene diferentes formas de cómo se puede usar o significado que va a depender cómo lo utilice mi consejo es bueno que lean bastante de que, bueno, uh, estamos iniciando, pero debemos de ir ya comentando la lectura, porque leer nos ayuda bastante, enriquecemos mucho el vocabulario. Y lo otro, pues, podría ser estructurar pequeñas frases, podría empezar con pequeñas frases, como por ejemplo, get some orange juice, Empezamos con una frase, por ejemplo, y luego pues ya iniciar con ya tengo oraciones. Get some oranges for breakfast. Yeah. Es como vamos iniciando palabras, frases y luego oraciones. Sería mi consejo. Si desean, pues que les apoyen algo, pues se yeah. Okay. Si Thanks. hay otra duda, you will get. Thanks. Pleasure. Okay, vamos al al midterm. Si hay dudas o preguntas, un gusto, diga. Vamos rapidito. Bueno, en la primera sección, remember we have the listening practice. Tenemos la sección de the listening. Tenemos que explicar la conversación o el, o, el, o el audio y luego contestar con base en, la, en el audio. Gracias a las respuestas. Mark is going to be 13 years old. Number two, they're going to have a party on Saturday. Number three, they're going to sing songs at the party. That was the last thing, okay, in the first thing. Después, bueno, son con las primeras primeros ítems en la primera sección de todo el listening ahí fue pues yo um, cada quien pues vamos a forma individual pero cada quien se sube enfocado en el audio escuchando la conversación y bueno, en la siguiente sección que va a ser un poquito más de análisis match the questions to be answered lo que tenemos que hacer es relacionar la pregunta con la respuesta tenemos en ese caso face Seis ítems. Let me show you the answers. Y básicamente lo que teníamos que hacer era, pues, ver la pregunta. Y con base en la pregunta, dar la respuesta. ¿Okay? Recuerden, algo muy importante cuando tenemos preguntas, debemos de observar. Debemos de observar que el tiempo verbal ¿Qué tiempo verbal está utilizando? Are we going to work this weekend? That is future. So the answer was, no, we're not. We're going to relax. Okay. La primera. Thanks. Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Again, this is future. The future. So we'll be going to. Be going. This is the end, okay? Number three, are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Vamos siguiendo la estructura. Vamos el where to be. 
Y como la pregunta es personal, ya yes, sea, I'm going to go swim. Siguiente, is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. He is going to visit his parents. We're talking about Bill. He. Estamos hablando acerca de, de un, en este caso, un poco. Sea un niño, podría ser un joven o un hombre. That's why we say, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is going to visit his parents. Estamos hablando de alguien, de alguien adulto. ¿sí? Podría ser. Next, our Pam and Andrew are going to have a picnic this weekend. Estamos hablando de dos personas, Pam and Andrew. No, they aren't. They're going to have a time. And the last one, is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's not. Because it's a bit heat. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Okay? Siempre que tenemos Repito, pregunta, si vamos a uh, enfocarnos en el tiempo verbal que estamos utilizando. Si es presente simple, si es presente continuo, si es uh, pasado simple, si es futuro simple, con will, be going to, etc. Y de esa forma es como vamos a ver. ¿Okay? Esa era la sección 2. Preguntas en este momento. En la sección 3, debían de seleccionar la pregunta, en este caso, la WH question. Y acá teníamos lo, lo opuesto. Teníamos respuestas y debíamos de buscar la pregunta. Por ejemplo, Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Again, we continue with be going to. Continuamos con el futuro. Be going to. Where are you going to go next summer? Y el, la pregunta es where, porque estamos usando un We're going to go to Alaska. Where are you going to go next summer? Three, Alaska. Wow. We're going to take a boat. We're going to take a boat. How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo vamos a llegar? A ese lugar. We're going to take a boat. Vamos a tomar un pequeño bote. Okay, un bote que eh, conocemos acá en eh, okay. Take a boat. Next. That sounds so exciting. I'm going to go with my family. The question is, who are you going to go with? ¿Con quién irás? I'm going to go with my family. Iré con mi familia. Voy a ir con mi familia. Okay? Great. We're going to go on June 21st. Okay. Estamos usando un tiempo en específico. Periodo. When. When are you going to go? We're going to go on June 21st. La, la forma es Debíamos de ir estructurando la conversación. Porque es una conversación. ¿Ok? Vamos a la siguiente. Complete the conversation. Acá debíamos de seleccionar la opción correcta. Y las respuestas son. I take these pills. What's the matter? I don't feel well. I'm stomach ache. How do you do today? Porque es una pregunta. How do you do today? ¿Cómo te sientes ahora? Not so good. Cat or eyes. I have a headache. Don't exercise. And use this medication. Okay, esta era la cuarta sección. Contestar como sesiones. Y la última era de leer el artículo y contestar las preguntas. Con base en el. Es que ese era básicamente el meter. Si hay alguna duda, algún comentario que tengamos, algo que 
no sé, no sé, llama la situación. Diga, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien? ¿No hay ninguna duda? Ya, yeah, all good. Okay. Bueno, antes de, de, de seguir, ¿a quién me mencioné? Antes de volver, a veces. ¿Qué me hace falta, Alberto? Alberto. Es en teacher. ¿Ves y flores? Sí. Present teacher, okay. entre tarde, disculpe. Es ok, es ok. Thank you. ¿Se está radiola? ¿Está bien? Present teacher. Ok. Claudia Ramos. Claudia Ramos. Y para mi hijo. Okay. okay, let's continue. Well, any questions? Preguntas solamente? Comentarios, dudas? ¿Cómo les pareció el meter? Todo fácil. Muy extenso. Sí. Okay. Me pareció bien. Perfect. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's continue now. Let's go to the topic that we have for today. And we're going to, uh, you know, identify, we we'll have some vocabulary. And here we have top eight things people hate to do, okay? So we hate some things, right? For example, let me show you. This is session number nine. And the topic again, top eight things people hate to do. Well, let's begin. Here we have some things that people hate to do, okay? The first one is stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. For example, if you go to the bank, typically, so you have to stand in line. You have to wait, okay, for your turn, okay? Tenemos una fila. Vamos a... In the line. I'm sorry? In the pharmacy. Yeah, in the pharmacy. The pharmacy. In the supermarket. At the bank. Okay. Another place that you have to extend in line. In a concert, for example, in a concert or in a in a game, let's say a soccer match or a basketball match, so you have to stay in line. That is the first thing that people hate. People hate. So la primera, podría decir, primera actividad o algo que las personas odian, right? Stay in line. That is the first thing. Next, do laundry. Do laundry. Okay. You wash, you wash your clothes by by using your hands, for example, or if you do the laundry in the washing machine, do the laundry. That is another thing that people hate. So, okay. Another one, travel to work. Travel to work. Okay, if you take a bus, for example. Or you drive, or you drive to work, or you travel, travel to work. Or you have most, you know, to the around. Okay, if you take the bus, you take um, taxi, you take, or you drive your car, so you, you hate, you hate that, or, or people hate, in general, okay? Again, stand in line. Stand in line. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel, work. Travel, work. Go, meetings. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, 
in my case, uh, I I don't hate do the laundry. I hate hanging the clothes <laughs> because uh, it's time to to hang in the cloth. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, that is another, that's a good one. Yeah. Hang up clothes. You hang up the clothes, right? Yeah. That is another one. That is another thing that people hate. It's not do the laundry. In this case, it's hang up clothes. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, yeah, we have a single line. Do laundry. Travel to work. Go to meetings. Who hates going to meetings? Who? ¿Quién, ¿Quién no le gusta o quién odia ir a reuniones? Por ejemplo? Go to meetings. Oh. It depends. 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 Okay. Okay. It depends. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It depends on the meeting, right? If you are uh, yeah. at the workplace. Pain of the meeting. Yeah. It depends on the meeting, of course. Uh, the, the the purpose, the purpose of the meeting. Depende del, del propósito de la reunión, right? Exactly. Both meetings. Another one, another thing. I, I don't know if, if you guys, but some people hate, you know, to do exercise. Do exercise, exercise. What about you? Do you hate? Do you hate that? No, I love yeah. it. You love it? Yes, teacher. Okay. I think, you know, this, this happens because I think some people are lazy. I mean, they don't like to, I don't know, to do some specific exercises, etc. So it depends. But that is another thing that people hate. People hate. Okay. Another one, work in the jar. Work in the jar. Work in the jar. Okay. If you plant some trees, flowers, for the plants. Okay. Work in the jar. Another one, clean the house. Clean the house. Who hates, who hates cleaning the house? Who? Quien no le gusta o quien odia limpiar su casa? Who? Who hates cleaning the house? I hate more watch the dishes. It's more oh. difficult for yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Okay. That's another thing. Yeah, you can say do the dishes. Do the dishes, or you can say wash the dishes. It's okay. Do the dishes or wash the dishes. Yeah, that is another thing, right? Very good. Yeah, but clean the house? No, you don't. you don't hate. I mean, no, you like it's, it. It's, it's, I like it. I, I, I like to to stay in a, a clean place. Yeah. I like it. Clean I like clean the house. Exactly. So I think most of us, right? We like we like us as your classmate said, we like staying in a clean place or in a clean spot. Porque la mayoría nos gusta estar en un lugar limpio. Yes. Very good. And the last one, I think, I think this is not common, right? Nowadays, we don't have mails. I mean, physical mails, okay? Open the mail, open the mail, okay? Well, in this case, when you receive packages or, I don't know, a letter, et cetera. In this case, tickets, you know, placebos, Okay. Open the mail. That is another one. Open the mail. Right? And here we have top eight things people hate to do. Let's 
un, el top 8 de cosas o actividades que las personas no les gusta hacer o o o what okay. any questions the 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 most mail is is email right yeah no, i mean yeah when we refer to when we refer to mail we're referring to different things ese esa ese término engloba diferentes cosas que podría ser ya sea un no sé, una carta que, que se reciba de algún amigo como lo dije hace un momento no es muy uh, hoy en día no no es común ver eso pero igual sería una carta o podría ser por ejemplo algún paquete que recibimos no bien but yeah, as you said, emails. That could be another one, right? Be another one. Send emails or receive emails. Receive emails. Send emails or receive emails. But that could be another thing that people hate to do. Eso podría ser otra, otra cuestión que llegar. Actividad que alguien puede, no le puede estar. Ya no recibir Correos, right? The other one. Wait, now, tell me, what are what are, what are some other things that people hate to do? What are some otras actividades, cosas que son las no las gusta warrior? What else? You mentioned some of them, right? You say I'm got clothes. I'm got clothes. Where is the ropa? The dishes, watch the dishes, send or receive emails. Or the answer, otras, other things, right? That people hate. Yeah, no, some other examples, other things that people hate to do. For, for example, uh, I am a dentist, uh, but, but uh, very, both of the people hate go to the dentist. Oh, <laughs> because yeah. it's hard. Yeah, absolutely. This is another thing, right? People don't like going to the dentist, or they hate. They hate going to the dentist. Absolutely, it's because yeah. they, they open the, the mouth. Uh, it's, it's, okay. it, yeah, they, they have I to say. It's, uh, I think it's is uh, incomodo. No? How how there is the the. Incomodo, how do you say incomodo? You can say uh, you feel or it is uncomfortable. It is oh. uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Again? Uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. 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 Yes. Exactly. I mean, you have to say with your mouth, with your open mouth all the time. Because probably you're doing something, you're repairing a, a tooth, and you have to see your mouth, your, your open mouth. Good. Okay. I like it. Very good. Another one? What else? Uh, in my case, I, I hate the needless. I'm sorry. You, you hate? I hate the needless. Oh, okay. Yeah, so in this case, it could be like um, injections. Oh, uh, yeah. Injections, yeah. So you, you hate, you hate when someone inject you. Yeah. You hate when someone injects you. Okay. Dent, so, dentist, dentist yeah. for example. But again? Dentist, <laughs> injects and drill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drill the two. Yeah. In this case, dental. Dental injections. Injection. Dental injections. Yeah. Drill. There is another one. Excellent. Okay, I know it's been a lot. Yeah. Take out the trash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take out trash. 
and another person share one in the chat. Ms. Flores. Oh yeah, go to the supermarket. Yeah. I hate watching the bathroom. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Toilet. The toilet or the bathroom you say in general. Bathroom. Can I be better? You have another one? Clean up vomit. Again? Clean up of clean up vomit. Oh, clean vomit? Clean up vomit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, could be. It. All right. Another one. Um. It will be. Yeah. I in my case I hate. Um. You hate. I wake up. Um, oh. Very. Yeah, I was, I was thinking of that. Wake it, wake up, sorry, early. Despertarse temprano. Yeah. That is that is another one. That's a good one. Esa es una muy buena. Mm. Well, somebody else? Mm. Kill a flying cockroach. Come is cockroach. <laughs> okay, repeat again. Kill, kill the a flying cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> flying cockroach. 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 Oops, sorry. Cockroach. Cockroach. Yeah, that is uh, another another thing that people hate, right? Uh, most of the people are afraid of cockroach or Russians. Absolutely, kill a flying cockroach. Yeah, very good. Another one. Let me give you some examples. Some examples. How we express when we hate something. When we hate something. For example, cuando nosotros no nos gusta algo o odiamos algo. Example. I have to travel to work every day. I hate it because there is a lot of traffic. Okay? Travel to work. Travel to work. I have to travel, and I think that's for everybody. We have to travel to work every day, and we hate that because there is a lot of traffic. Okay? That is something that, that is where we express, we describe things that we hate. That is a first example. Another one. I stand in line when I go to the bank. I hate it because I don't have enough time. And I think that happens right with everybody. Pero que eso sucede para, aplica para todos. Uh, we don't have enough time. No tenemos suficiente tiempo. Okay? So, I hate. But but now we can make things online, right? Yeah, exactly. So you can pay online. That is an advantage that we have. It's an advantage. Very nice. I stand in line when I go to the bank. I hate it because I don't have enough time. Okay? In another one, and this is what I wanted to do now, I need you to follow the examples given. And now it's your turn. You're going to follow the structures and you have to describe at least two things, right? Two things you hate to do. Okay? Vamos a cuadernos. Vamos a escribir dos ejemplos. We're going to follow the examples. Let me give you another example. They hate, I'm sorry, I have to clean the house. Every weekend, I hate it because I don't have free time. Okay. I have to clean the house every weekend. I hate it because I don't have free time. Okay. 
Listen, we're going to write in, your, in our notebooks, in our notebooks, we're going to write two examples. Two examples about things you hate. You have to follow this structure. Structure. You have to write your own examples. Vamos a seguir estos ejemplos. Vamos a escribir dos en nuestros cuadernos. Okay. Comíamos. Comíamos. Let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Si hay preguntas, voy a hacer preguntas. Claro que sí. Let's go. No se ha comprendido. Pregunta, por favor. No tengamos fe. Any questions? Let me know if you're ready, please. If you're ready. Don't yeah. Okay, who wants to help us? Give us some example. Volunteers, volunteers. Me. Yeah, yeah. In the two sentences. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I hate when someone inject me because the injection scar me. Uh, I hate wash the dishes because some people leave food scraps in the dishes. Oh, okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. You can say, you can say, uh, Cesar, I hate washing the dishes, but you can say, I hate to wash the dishes. Okay. I, I said, I hate wash the dishes. Okay. So you have to include, you have to say, I hate washing the dish, I'm sorry, washing the dishes. Wow. Washing the dishes. I hate washing the dishes. Very good. Thank you, Sasa. Somebody else, another volunteer is ready.
Oh, yeah, that's a good one. As if what I said, I hate going to the supermarket because people don't respect the social distance in this pandemic. You can say in this pandemic, okay? Yeah? Or during this pandemic. Very good. Thank you. Basic, that's a good one. Another volunteer. Okay, I'm going to pick up some people. I'll listen to um God and Flores, please help us. Give us one or two examples. God employees. If you miss this, I am. Okay. I have to clean and the poop of my dog. I hate because is 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 a small. It horrible. is. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You can say it because it is probably disgusting. Disgusting. Or because it is a bad smell. It is disgusting or it is, it has, sorry, this can see it has. It has a bad smell. It is disgusting or it is, or it has, sorry, a bad smell. Teacher, okay. excuse me, how do you pronounce? Disgusting. 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 Disgusting, yes. Disgusting. That means desagradable. Disgusting. Very good. Thank you, Renata. Or do you have another example, sorry? Yes, teachers, only one. Okay, good. I will read this uh, process example, Jose Rodriguez. I hate wear a mask. Okay, yeah. That, is, that happens, right? Very good. Remember, Jose Rodriguez, I hate wearing, wearing face mask because you can say because it makes me feel as a hot. It makes me feel hot. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Let's see somebody else in the chat. I need to press a lot of word forms. Most don't give me permission. Give me permission, sorry, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, no, sir. That, that's another one. I need to press a lot of word forms, but my boss don't, doesn't give me information on time. I hate it because it's not my fault. Yeah, that, that, that happens. That happens. I understand you. Very good. Thank you. Carlos Rivera said, I have to clean up the families, family members, moments. I hate it because, oh, <laughs> okay, very nice. Thank you, Carlos Rivera. Somebody else, volunteers? Uh, I Who's have two, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh, I have to go to Seguro Social to see a doctor. I hate it because I spent at least four hours in that place. Yeah. Uh, I have, yeah. Let me the number two is, uh, I have to work tomorrow. I hate it to take the bus because at that time it's full. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. See, I will listen to Vicky. Can you give us two examples? One or two examples. Me falla un poquito el sonido con el auricular, teacher. Oh. Pero ahorita, pero ahorita. Yeah. Um, I have to clean, to clear um, the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, and I have to clear, clear plants. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, disgusting. Así va, disgusting. 
because it is disgusting. 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 Uh -huh. disgusting. There are any plants. Uh. Okay. Awesome. You say I hate to clean on Sundays, right? On Sundays. Yes. Thank you. I hate to clean on Sundays. I hate to clear on Sunday. Yes, on Sundays. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Like see in the chat. I hate, I have to clean the kitchen every day. I hate it because because I always gets dirty. Oh, okay. I hate it because it always it always gets dirty. It always gets dirty. Very good. Very good. That was Astrid Munoz's example. Let's go with Bessie Avalos and I'll listen to Sister Nabiota. Because the other said, I have to work all the weekend. I hate wake up early because I can't sleep more time. Okay, very good. Just one observation, Bessie Avalos. You say, I hate, I hate waking, waking up early. Okay. I hate waking up, waking up early. Only that, the rest is fine, Bessie, thank you. Let's do Okay. In my case, I hate that someone parked their car, their car in front of my garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't, don't let me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or inferno. Can you try again? Inferno. My garage, right? You say my garage. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. I hate that someone parks his or her car in front of my garage. Yeah, that happens too, right? That happens. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. I will listen to my last volunteers. I will go with. Karen Carvalho, can you give us an example? I like to travel, but I hate traffic. Dollars. Yeah. I like, I like, repeat again, I like. I like to travel. Okay. But, but I hate traffic. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. You see? Oh, let me thank you for, for informing. But well, we have more examples in the chat. As the Bia said, I hate being interrupted while studying. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. That's it. Very good. Ernesto, I I know the cats play some group. I hate it because I don't let it sleep. Yeah, very good. At night, that's so at night. My night. At night. At night. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Nessa. Well, and when I listen to my last volunteer, let's say I will go with Carla Granados. Can you give us an example, Carla? Okay. I hate um wait for someone for a long time. Because yeah. it stresses me to wait. Excellent. Age waiting someone waiting for someone for a long time because it stresses me. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, and the last one I want to listen to somebody. Let's go with Jorge Spinoza. Give us an example. Jorge, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, uh, I hate washing dishes and pants. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. 
Well, everybody, any questions? Questions about how we express things that we hate? Preguntas? I have a question about the, the why yeah. you put ing oh, at the yeah. end. That's a good question. Let me explain. Only Alberto's example. Alberto's example said I get up at 4.45 a.m. every day to go to work, but I hate getting up early. Yeah, absolutely, Alberto. I agree with you. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, yeah, that's a nice, that's a good example. That's a nice question, sorry. That uh, says it up for you. Isn't. When we use some specific verbs like love, like, hate, they prefer, etc. When we use some of verbs, and we have a second verb, tenemos un segundo verbo, for example, we tend to include, or we tend to use a second verb in ing form. For example, I love watching or movies. So we can say I hate waking up. No, I hate working on this. Um, I like playing. Upper. And the other one I prefer eating Chinese food. When we have this specific verse, love, like, hate, and prefer, the, the following verb or the other verb is followed by an ing form. Okay. Ing form. That's why we say I love watching her movies. I hate working on Monday. I hate washing the dishes. I hate waking up early. I hate being interrupted while studying, etc. Yes, I'm quickly yeah. with this list of verb. I'm sorry, but again. Uh, that is specifically with this yeah. list of verb. Exactly. We have more storm. We have mind. Let me see another one. We have join. Yeah, it, it is specifically with this list of words, as you said. Specifically, it's con esta lista de verbos, no es con todo. Okay. Hey, Chair. Yeah. Could you send us the, the list? Sure, sure. I will. Yeah, who's the teacher? Sorry. Yeah. Sí, sí, yo quisiera decir como I don't like y otro verbo. Ese verbo estaría en, en y en el tiempo. Oh, ah, siempre y en el mm, No, because listen, most of the times we use this form. Casi siempre, bueno, podría decirse siempre, utilizan en esas formas. However, sin embargo, you can use I like play soccer. You can, you can use those forms. Or as I said, I don't like example to what or movies. Okay. You can you can say it. Se puede. Se puede yeah. decir esa forma. Pero casi siempre se utiliza esa forma. ING y con esa lista de verbos. Mm -hmm. son, son, con verbos son verbos específicos. Okay. Son, son todos. Ok. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I send you in the chat the, the, the verbs that we use. Of course, we have more. Let me look for more verbs and I'm going to send you a list of verbs. Voy a buscar los más verbos. Los enviaré. No se preocupe. Somebody else, questions? So, yeah. All is fine, teacher. All fine. Yeah. 
Okay, listen, we're going to finish right here. This is all for today. Um, let me see. Bueno, si hay dudas o preguntas acerca de algo, pues pueden contactar. Con apoyo, etc. Vamos a la hora. Um, let me see. Well, this is all for today, everybody. We're going to stop right here. And we will continue next week. Because remember that tomorrow is free for you. Okay? We'll continue next Monday. Right? Where to go? Questions? The Hola, solo al último recordatorio. Hacemos lo más que podamos. Probably ni podemos ir avanzando a las secciones. Vamos con la sección. Bueno, iniciamos la sección 4 ahora. Es que podemos ir avanzando. Ya terminamos. Pues bien. Les felicito. Y estoy practicando. Vamos a ver los contenidos, se quedan las clases y a clarificar. ¿Okay? Entonces, vamos con la plataforma, la hacemos un Y digo eso porque he estado, como les dije, actualizando, revisando y en el último año iniciado. Yo tengo dos o tres personas que ahora iniciamos. Vamos al fin de semana. Vamos en el. Bueno, ahora, un momento, gracias. Thank you for being here. It has been a pleasure to be with you during this week. We will continue next month, okay? Have a nice weekend, everybody. God bless you, and I'll see you next month. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. See you next Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.